All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So we do have some breaking news that just came out like five, 10 minutes ago here from Adam Schefter of ESPN. Larry Ogunjobi, former Bengal and Brown defensive tackle, is signing a one-year contract with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, now right off the bat, Larry's a great player. I think the Steelers are getting a they're getting a they're getting a great ball player here. You look at the pass rushing numbers that this guy had uh just a season ago, 16 quarterback hits, seven sacks, just under 50 combined tackles, full-time starter. He was dependable, he was reliable. Uh Cincinnati really put a lot on his plate and he delivered. Okay, this guy's a really really good player here, and I think Pittsburgh is definitely going to benefit. Uh really the only downside here it's only just a one-year contract, so if Larry goes out there and uh, duplicates what he did a season ago for the Bengals, then he could be due for a pretty massive payday. You know, if we think back just a couple of, uh, well, at this point, a couple of months, you know, to the first couple of ways of free agency, the plan was for him to sign a multi, a pretty sizable multi-year deal with the Chicago Bears. But of course, he didn't pass it, or he he fails the physical. So the Bears pull the offer, and uh, long story short, he's just kind of out there as a free agent, and it's not uh, anything to do with his talent. It's not anything to do, you know, with him bombing interviews or anything like that, or, or you know, no team doesn't want a part of him. It's just the fa the the failed physical, and really it was just a waiting game. Now. I will say this, uh, for the Jets fans out there, you know, this was the guy who I really, really wanted. Is it the end of the world that he signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers? No, not at all. Okay, yes, he would have helped. Yes, it would have been awesome. But, uh, you know, it, it's, I mean, we look at the roster right now. It's Quinn and Williams, Solomon Thomas, new addition. Okay, John Franklin Myers kicking it back in to the inside. Nathan Shepard, uh, who else? Jonathan Marshall here. I mean, it's not a complete unit, and I do think the loss of Foley Fadakasi will hurt this team uh, in the running game. You know, there's a big run-stuffing guy signed the three-year contract with the Jacksonville Jaguars. So, you know, I don't think the Jets are bottom of the barrel as far as talent and depth is concerned on the inside of the 4-3-D uh, uh, line. But, man, Larry would have been awesome. But on the on the bright side here, if we flip it and look at it from you know an optimistic sense, now the Jets can pull that contract off the table. Maybe you utilize some of that money for one of these other guys that are still out there. Maybe like a Quan Alexander. You know he was brought in. Uh, as I mean, every Jet fan knows this. He was brought in and worked out for the team right before the start of the NFL draft. So there is some. It was some some mutual interest there. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And as always, go Jets.